All right, everyone. It is me, Jensen Chan. Uh, I actually woke up pretty early, and you know, my body clock has more or less adjusted to sleeping around 11 midnight. You know, midnight but the latest. You know, not even close. <coughs> and yeah, it was very helpful for me to figure out that. Yeah, <coughs> great. I just choked a little bit on my survival saliva now. That uh, you know. Well, it was a proper calorie diet for me when I was fatter. Now that I'm actually lighter, yeah, I have to actually reduce those calories even further. So it was definitely disrupting my sleep. I could definitely tell that if I eat too many calories, uh, you know, while I'm awake, then I wind up getting six hours of sleep that night. So that probably is the reason, one of the reasons why Trump actually only gets six hours of sleep at night and has no problems. Because, uh, you know, you'll notice he's getting pretty fat, too. So he's probably taking in a lot of calories, too, for his... Uh, uh, for his height and stuff, so, and weight. So, anyway, I didn't really do any research. Uh, I was, you know, just doing some catch-up on video games. Thinking about, you know, my game, because, like, I'm still trying to create the level select, and I wound up buying this assholes. Like, it looks really nice, but it's it's made for, like, advanced programmers. There's, like, hardly any documentation. I, I'm left figuring everything out. And following his shit and in retard instructions... Uh, didn't actually uh, work and there's no like setup video so it's like you know so I wasted 15 bucks on unity so I wound up just buying the level manager plus oh that's right I'm not, uh, level manager plus unity for 20 bucks and it's basically exactly what I want um, obviously these are just the graphics so I can I'm replacing it with my graphics which is really just a simple uh, it's I, I'm actually turning the buttons into an actual map preview, and because of the way I have to work around the problem, all right. There's for some reason not loading. Uh, what should we call it? Oh, it's just so slow. So yeah, it just looks like shit, but that's because it's just the graphics that just come with it. Obviously, I'm using my own graphics, so it's still gonna kind of look like shit, but at least the, this button will it'll just be like a thing on the scroll bar on the left, because that's what the video tutorial here shows. And then on the right is just a giant button, which is actually a map preview of each of the maps. I actually, I really would like to start showing my game around, but I have to get all my shit together. I have to spend another, at least a couple hundred dollars more on uh, logos, so I can and then I might also, I am also considering spending the 200 to 300 dollars to hire the uh, film composer guy to create a one track of music, right? So uh, I've got so much shit to do, and it's like it's if it weren't for the stupid wait of two to three months on the copyright office, it would just be a lot easier. But um, but on the other hand, yeah, I totally understand because like you know it, the copyright office does have to actually literally check like you know everything that's happened since. You know, the beginning of I don't know, copywriting. So it can only, and the fact they can do it in two to three months, that's pretty fast. In fact, it might be faster now because they're probably using AI at this point to do all the searching and shit. All right, anyway, uh, so let's just see. I was actually reading this article and I realized, you know what, I'm just going to do the video now and then read it on stream because this is actually kind of important too, especially since everyone wants to like fucking go invade China now, right, through fucking Hong Kong. It's like, Every fucking, every fucking decade, people fall for the same fucking retarded scam, CIA scam, and it just pisses me off so fucking much. You know, if I were in charge, I would just put everybody up who, who was doing this shit up for fucking treason and then, you know, have them sentenced and punished accordingly. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, and I'll also listen to the leader of the Gord Baruch Brothers. He actually had a lot of good stuff uh, yesterday. Um, and he even mentioned, yeah, Twitter and social media is actually now considered a security threat. Because hack, they, hackers still have control of the site. So, and of course, Twitter's trying to take back control. But what were to happen? And they control, like, Biden and Obama's accounts to, you know, push their Bitcoin scam. What would have happened if, like, actual foreign agents hacked it? And then pretended to be like Obama and did some sort of like coordinated political message. That's actually a national security threat. So yeah, we gotta start regulating this shit. Right? I mean, it's pretty easy. Just just make them uh, utility companies. We already have all the regulations in place. All right. Anyway, uh, Bitcoin searches is still nine, so it's still pretty shit. Uh, I imagine things are not gonna really improve. And then, oh yeah, he also went over Kanye West. So yeah, Kanye West is too late to follow the paperwork. He had a full campaign staff of like a couple hundred people. 
And I'm, I'm actually kind of annoyed. Like, why did Kanye wait so fucking long? Right? Well, now, now it's too late for him to fucking do anything to help fucking Trump. So now, so I was wondering why this wasn't going up. But now we have confirmation. Yeah, in fact, they removed Kanye West from here. Oh, actually, no, they didn't. Yeah, he's further up here. So, I don't know. Like, if I were Kanye, I would still try to... Because he's not too late in some states. So Kanye should actually just file and then just run in some states. Right? I mean, he knows he can't win anyway. But the point is, this is a persuasion attempt to run in 2024. Right? So he needs to get off his ass and just file the fucking paper. He he has, like, according to the leader of the Borp Uprising, he actually has a campaign staff of, like, 100 or 160 people. Like, a full actual presidential campaign staff. So get them to fucking file the paperwork for him. Right? And then he just signs off on all the documents. Right? There's, like... Well, he can't run in New York in like six or seven other states, so it's like, what, 43 states, right? And he can easily get the 5,000 signatures because he's Kanye fucking less. So anyway, Trump's just doing horribly here. Um, yeah, no, no, God. All right, I actually do want to show one tweet. And this is kind of what's pissing me off about the fucking Trump family. What? Some days are doing really well, other days are like fucking retarded. Like, this, this is exact. This is this is the kind of shit... Right, the left. I hate blank people. All right, I want to be careful on YouTube, but obviously I'm letting you read this. Don Jr., allow me to explain why you don't actually hate white people, but rather hate the American way of life. This is so fucking F word and G word. I'm so pissed. I, I guarantee you, if if people were saying this shit about Chinese people, I would fucking burn everything down. All right, and then maybe like take up arms. Well, actually, we probably can't take up arms because we're in New York, but I'm sure we'll come up with something. Right. And then, and then, and then I'll have to channel my mom and dad's like genetic nagging. Like they're like they can literally nag you down for like twelve hours and still just have the same whatever. It's just so fucking annoying. I mean, I don't know how many of you actually know any Chinese people, especially people Chinese people that actually nag. But yeah, if you ever actually see that our persistence and stubbornness, yeah, it can get pretty fucking annoying. Now imagine that multiplied by the entire population of China, just screaming at oh, well, not China, of Amer Chinese people in America fucking screaming at you and nagging at you for like all day and all night like you go to work they're there nagging you saying why do you hate us right and then you go home on the train assuming you're not in lockdown and then follow you home and then we still keep do doing it well until like 2 a.m and you're like oh my god all right i'll fucking sh i'll fucking stop right it's like we're a couple steps above like you know i guess when jewish people get mad that you're talking about them, and then they call you anti-Semitic and all that stuff. But they're they're much more angry about it when that happens. You know, we just tend to be more annoying, right? Because because uh, you know us Chinese people, say, I like to think we actually understand the limit. So we only go as far as the limit, and then maybe a couple steps behind it. We don't want to like go all the way, right? The exception, of course, is Xi Jinping. He just seems to have a fucking butt plug up his ass about like everyone doing wrong against China so now he's taking his revenge and he's going way too far and he's playing right into like you know what's happening here like it's like this this fucking asshole and I don't normally like attacking the Chinese government because obviously if I have to travel there they get kind of mad but you know he's really causing a lot of fucking problems and tactical mistakes and it's actually his fault he needs to stop fucking pissing people off alright um because guess what? We're going to have war with China, right? And he's, like, accelerating it un unwittingly. And it's, like, really annoying. So anyway, Bitcoin does at 62.6%. 24-hour volume is at 60.7 billion. So not too much going on there. Uh, looks like Bitcoin's doing shit again. 91.10. Litecoin's at 42 bucks. Oh, this is wonderful. I'm asking God for some money. And, like, this is what's happening. 371 million market cap for Dogcoin. So yeah, we're gonna have to dig in. I mean, I still got plenty of savings, of course, but it's just annoying because I'm I've been living off of savings for a couple of years. So once I get this fucking game out, then I can do my uh, advertising, sell like crazy, and start monetizing, and then have an alternative source of income. Because uh, again, advertising as an asset and an investment asset, I never thought of it like that, but that's true. And on top of that. It's actually got this kind of scale that I'm looking for because it really is because I do know for a fact that businesses have done correctly and advertised marketed correctly. You could go from complete nobody to like multi-billionaire. 
uh, within just a couple of years. In fact, that's what Amazon, that's actually what all the big companies do, right? Home Depot, Amazon, Facebook, Twitter, blah, 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 right? What do they all have in common? They all know how to fucking code. So it's time for me to fucking hurry up my shit. So hopefully today I'll be able to, you know, finish most of the level select menu because I've been bouncing back and forth between my own solution from YouTube, which sucked. Uh, it kind of worked, but it was like, okay, there's some problems. Like, okay, I don't have time to figure this out. Try to buy the guy's $15 asset that looked really good, but it fucking bad instructions. And then I got exhausted by the night as like, okay, this, 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 this level manager plus is what I'm looking for. It's not going to look the best, but I can make it as good as I can make it be. And then it actually works. I actually clicked the button and it actually just loaded the level. And it's like, okay, everything looks normal. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, but the save function will be kind of interesting. So that's probably, but I'm using the save function as a separate thing. That's why I'm going to use the easy save. And then we're just going to communicate with like the Google cloud and all that shit and the steam cloud. Oh, all right. Yeah, but as you can tell, I'm kind of surprisingly in a somewhat agitated state. So I think it's because Kanye, maybe it's because I'm like, God, oh, Kanye, can you just file the fucking paperwork? Stock features, point learner, mid earnings, jobless claims. It's the same shit as before. Weekless jobless claim, worse than expected. U.S. retail sales jumped 75%, 7.5% in June from prior month. Yeah, so everything's recovering. Domino's is rising. Yeah, Domino's in the past used to taste like shit, but maybe now they're actually pretty good. I actually kind of want to try it. Near my mom and dad's place uh, actually has Domino's. We actually actually tried sometime. Because I, I still love Papa John's. That shit is good. Like, I don't know. Like, everything from the crust to the sauce they use, it's like, it's so good. Here, right, now I'm starting to get hungry. I'm definitely going to have to have pizza. I don't know. I already had, I already had my kitchen, uh, California kitchen pizza yesterday. I really want my pizza again today. But anyway, yeah, everything was going up so fast, so yeah, there has to be a pullback. It's, this isn't even much, minus 150 points, yeah, that's not even anything. It's not even a percent. Uh, they're trying to tank the economy, tank the economy. Jim Cramer used his chart to predict exact day stock could hit the skids. Uh, he's always making up bullshit. Boris China stock, I do like Jim Cramer, I just don't like his predictions, because they're all obviously wrong. Worst China stock sell-off since February. Caps brutal reversal. Uh, well, that's pretty funny because Eben is going up. Well, that was from yesterday. Let's see. Do they have? They have? Oh yeah, I have it open already. What's the future is on Eben? Um, the four hours trade. Because this this is run in China. In fact, it's going up thirteen percent. It looks like there's definitely either insider trading or some sort of weird manipulation going on with Evan. Uh, Twitter hack. Justin America and Netflix fighting. You must know about Thursday. F sock to develop. Okay, I don't know. Whatever. Morgan Street could drop below 3% by 2021. Hmm. Well, everyone still wants to buy a house, so I don't know. We're ha we'll have to see. Uh, yes, the. Uh, like Trump, like if Trump really looks like he's, oh yeah, that's the other thing too. Trump fired Brad Parscale. Uh, I I really hope I left that as a, a tweet as well. This is actually pretty big. Like Trump's really, it really is going all out. Yeah, here it is. Brad and Jared Kushner was fucking everything up as a large reason why we're in this mess. The rumors, it, it's about Hope Hicks. You know, Brad Parscale is banging Hope Hicks. Actually, good choice actually. Uh, it's just false bullshit. Jared paid Brad Parscale way too much money for total shit results. He Trump really tired of poor polling, etc. And then, yeah, there's one thing that you can do that really pisses off Trump no matter how long you work for it. It's to take more money than you were supposed to take and then give Trump negative results. That's an instant fucking fire. Um, and then, you know, Trump has just announced failed. Brad Parscale is out as Trump campaign manager. I don't know who this Bill Steepian guy is as the campaign manager. I assume the leader of the Gorper Uprising is going to actually cover it uh, tonight. So I, guess I hope so, because this is a big thing. This is a really big thing. Also, the Dissident Right website that I cannot name or even hint at anymore, uh, hopefully we'll cover it as well. He's covered Brad Parscale before, so I imagine he's going to cover it well, maybe later today. Uh, but, oh, actually, yeah, tr Trump actually retweeted this. So this is actually big. Yeah, I am pleased to announce Bill Stepien. 
has been promoted to Trump campaign manager. Brad, who has been with me for a very long time, has led our trust digital data will remain in that role while being a senior advisor to the campaign. Uh, both were heavily involved in our historic 26. Oh, okay, so he didn't completely fire him. He's just he's just demoted him. Look forward to having a big, very important single win together. This one should be a lot easier. Our poll numbers are already fast. Counties getting better. Vaccines and therapeutics will soon be on the way. We're going to want safe streets and communities. Yeah, I don't know about these poll numbers, uh, but the problem is everyone's lying on the polls. So, uh, yeah, the Lincoln Tunnel is actually flooding. So that's uh, for those of you who don't know. In New York City, we have a New Jersey, a New York um, underground tunnel called the Lincoln Tunnel. I assume named after Abraham Lincoln. It's underwater. Uh, and it's flooding. And you see, someone actually had, <clears throat> yeah, here, here's a good one. So you're, you have no escape, you're underwater, and this is what you see. And then you, you're, you're stuck in traffic, so uh, yeah. But I don't see anything going crazy yet, so I assume it's probably fine. And then by now, everyone's like saying, hey, the Lincoln Tunnel is flooding. We need to, you know, get everybody out. So uh, I'm pretty sure that's what they're going to do. Uh, fuck New York Times, fuck this asshole. Uh, actually, it's a woman, I think. 48 years, um, whatever. He's, just, he's actually a little, he, this guy's shady, but, you know, whatever. I guess he's pretending, I guess, with the right words. Even if you're a person, even if, well, I love if I fought it, even if you're, there's zero case to be made for Andrew that's the great conquering hero coronavirus. Yeah, this is, this I don't like. Normally, I like, uh, Andrew Cuomo, not Chris Cuomo, because I'm confusing with his fucking asshole brother, who lied about being infected with coronavirus. Uh, he's saying God did not do that. He did. That actually is fucking blasphemous. I don't know. I don't really like saying that, but like I can't think of any other better way to describe it. It's like, dude, God gave you all this shit, and you're actually a, a, a vowed Catholic or Christian or whatever, and like just what, what's what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Uh, trigger. Okay. Uh, the USMCA workers first. Uh, Mexico Canada Pact. Uh, okay. And then it just looks like standard stuff. Uh, they've deported a lot of MS. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, not good enough, but whatever. Uh, yeah. I still don't see. Hey, that's Bart Simpson. I don't know who this person is. All right, so not really much going on. All right, so let's see. GMC coins at seven to eight, so same as Samuel. Uh, 404 to 48 to 359, not much change there. Two by two, oh wow, it's actually crashed. It's 63 to 67. Yeah, I mean, the supply is starting to get pretty big now, so it's only gonna be a matter of time. Um, let's see, two by two is what? 365% APR, Rix is 307. Yeah, I think 200% really is the is the is the borderline, right? Just like because platinum bar coin has no support, it's still worth like 13 satoshis, like whole satoshis after five years on Crex. So yeah, that kind of sucks too, um, because the two by two guys, yeah, uh, they basically just copy what we do, right? Which is fine. Um, but the thing is, I, uh, I'm really hoping they don't have to do a, a, a fucking swap for a while. I'm really just like, uh, I'm so sick to, I just want some stability. But you do what you have to. Anyway, Rix is going to, yeah, so Rix is probably going down because 2x2 two is going down, so, like, uh, usually it's worth about 2. So at least I can probably start picking up Rix for cheap. Uh, in fact, I'm going to readjust my Rix orders, because I think mine is somewhere around 143. Oh, actually, no, it actually got fulfilled. I didn't know that. I actually need to uh, withdraw my uh, Rick coins because every single Rick's actually counts. So, uh, infinite Rick's. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. I mean, uh, I mean, the thing is, like, as long as they still remain kind of small, it won't piss off Fox. But technically, it it does violate um, copyright rules. I told Mitch that it's like, oh, we're not, uh, we're not uh, criticizing, criticizing them. But I'm like, that's that's not just it. You're using someone's intellectual property to grift off of their work without their authorization. That's why you have to get a license, right? You know, when it comes to merchandising and movie rights and all that stuff, it's called merchandising licensing rights. The keyword being actually licensing, right? That's what it is. 
Oh my god, fucking Krex, and they're fucking sl What is wrong? Oh god, now I have to wait on Krex. Like, their fucking email confirmation server is, like, fucking not sending the email. Alright, so anyway, Rix is at 142 to 146. So, uh, nothing new on my YouTube. Uh, everyone's talking about the Twitter Bitcoin scam. Uh... Yeah, everything here is all fun. Why? Everything literally here is just Twitter. All right. So we're just going to ignore that because, yeah, it's just a distraction. Because people were getting pretty pissed at the criticizing Jewish people. And then all of a sudden this thing happens. Now, I'm not implying anything, but it does look uh, like a little weird. You know, it's like every time something happens, a major fucking hack or big thing happens. And it's like very fucking annoying. Right, you know, and I'm sure actual Jewish people would be relieved. It's like, oh yeah, we don't want people talking about us, right? Yeah, yeah. It'd be nice if they also applied that same empathy towards, say, white people or us Chinese people, you know. Uh, but since since nobody's fucking helping us, well, you know, guess what's gonna happen? All right. So anyway, wave of Bitcoin bull runs will crush. You. Okay. Uh, Ripple. All right. So seventy percent. Of crypto traders believe Bitcoin will breach 20k by 2021. I mean, at the rate, uh, I mean, at the like, it's insane just how much control these fucking sh uh, shit live assholes, seditionist globalists have. I mean, fucking crypto is just not going to go up ever. Right? I mean, they can keep. I mean, the problem is everyone's still going along with the fucking coronavirus scam with the lockdown bullshit. So, PayPal renews inside potential plans for crypto, Bitcoin, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there's literally no news. It's just this China stuff that I have open and me just rambling. All right, let me see. Did the fucking email come yet? Fuck. It took like three minutes for this thing to get sent. All right, I just have to confirm my withdrawal because, you know. Uh, what? Oh, my God. I'm using Australia, and Crex thinks I'm in Japan. Well, I mean, as long as the thing works, right? All right, very good. Uh, your withdrawal has been confirmed. Good. So I should be having my Ricks minting within uh, 12 hours starting. Um, let's see. Then I think I sent some two by two my daily sell. So all right, here we go. All right. Anyway, uh, let's go back to Firefox. All right. Hmm. Ah, there we go. All right. Uh, China will likely be a foreign power uh, undermining the Trump election. It just doesn't know it yet. The um, yeah, yeah. China's undermining. Well, actually, maybe actually there could be an actual incentive because Trump's pretty uh, pretty annoyed with China too. Ah. And the globalists, fearing uh, the conservative uprising, need a need a new, another bo boogeyman to distract them from what's happening in America, and people find out the truth. So that's why you'll, you'll uh, that's why there's more left wing sites, especially like NBC. That's why we're on here. Um, are very much starting to uh, uh, gin up anti Chinese hatred, and it's going to work. It it always works. That's why I get pissed about it. Because in my case, what can I fucking do, right? Which is why I wished I knew everything that I know now back then, so that at this point now, I would already be a rich, famous, multi-hundred millionaire with fame and whatever. And then I can use that to fucking push back against this. Chair will likely be the next four. As President Rose Garden News kind of as in other, the Trump bash China for uh, painted for as a gift to kind of China, raised the specter of mail-in fraud in November. Now that is true. That is a gift towards China. See, part of the problem with this lie is a lot of it has a lot of truth to it, and they're exploiting and leveraging it and expanding it to be a lot worse than it really is, right? You know, a good example of this actually um, is Hong Kong mentioned in here. Yes. Uh, so they're actually talking about Uyghur rights in Hong Kong. So here's the thing: America is burning down literally. Our shits in chaos. We have fucking BLM rioters and other traders burning shit down, and we're supposed to care more about what's happening in Hong Kong. Like, literally a city that belongs to China, a country on the other, literally, literally the other side of the planet. Like, we're supposed to care more about that than what's going, like, like, like even, even if you just sat down to do basic thinking, people still, like, just, 
like it's so frustrating. Like that's why we need an IQ test to be able, for people to be allowed to do a lot of things because this is this is what causes world wars. Like the fucking useful idiots. At present, oh yeah, I read that. Uh, three is taking engineering nicely and isolated around. They're increasingly frequent. Um, well, it should be ready for Charles Coates or Harrison at his play. Our show will wreck chaos and confusion may contest election result by casting on the legitimacy of the vote tally. The strategy could be fairly easily broken down to four broad parts, three of which are already unfolding. Establish China's the ultimate bag. I'm no apologist for China. It's actions against Hong Kong and Muslims. Uh, American condemnation. Just to start, I spent much of my time as the FBI's head of counterintelligence, focus on Beijing's formidable threat. Not only does China want to dominate the Americas, it is capable of doing so already as one of the world's truly bad actors. That's why China suddenly such an attractive fall guy for Trump as strategy. So see, this is how they already do it. Oh yeah, we're on a liberal site. So yeah, like uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you know, we need freedom in Hong Kong, uh, and, and we need to, you know, and then they play up the racism angle. They're like oh yeah, the, the Muslims are being like you know, um, which is technically true. They are being, uh, I don't know, I guess. Like reprogram, like basically like the uh, one step above genocide, or is it below genocide? I, I don't know, but like they're, they're not too far off from that, and they're basically doing a, a lighter North Korean type style reeducation program. All right, so you know, all right, but then yeah, you know, it's like oh, like like this is what's so annoying. Like oh, Trump's the bad guy for being the bad for blaming China as the bad guy, but I believe China is the bad guy too. It's like this double speak it's just like you know so basically what's the what's the shit that goes in your head oh yeah china bet right when trump needed to deflect attention from his fellow elite during the pandemic closing shift to he big praise on china's coronavirus thing trump used the phrase china virus more than 20 times just less to it uh i will admit yes kung flu is racist as shit but it's also funny that's why i kind of give it a kind of that's why I kind of give it a pass, because um, <laughs> it is funny. But I still don't want to see it too often, or I definitely don't want to see it in my face, though. Because uh, unfortunately, there's that like really nasty, like so, so, like they really screwed it up when they put like like the disease, like the doc. It's like so disgusting when they say it's like okay, it's like all right, man. The same month at his rally in Phoenix Church, Trump again referred to it as Kung Flu and the Chinese flu during a fourth rally. A terrible plague in China. Yeah, the bad part of that, the theme of China's ego is also being promulgated by none other than a uh, piece of shit globalist, Mike, fat piece of shit, Mike Pompeo. Pompeo Pompeo accused China of uh, putting the world at risk. That's somewhat true, right? It's more, but it's more because of their negligence and possibly arrogance rather than like an actual evil intent. Like China just just simply has no shame. So. Enormous so evidence that it came from a virus lab, far right from the Wuhan lab. Blah, blah, blah. Now Trump announced upon China for its coronavirus response, which is actually technically correct. He should be doing that. Uh, he wants to ban TikTok, which is just, uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. All right, even if he, if if Trump's actually dumb enough to do this, he is going to get fucking ultra bad. Uh, he's going to get ultra fucking uh, clobbered in uh, November. All right. Te Zoomers and teenagers and people younger than teenagers love TikTok. So the last thing you want to do is piss them off by banning TikTok. And then those teenagers that grow 18, they don't care about anything else. And they're going to vote against Trump. All right. So. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Trump's animosity toward drive is puzzling contrast with inability against the Russian guy. I'm off for tell. Okay. So, 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 this, so this piece of shit's um, uh, pushing the Russia-America bounty Taliban bullshit. The ultimate goal is to totally blame China for Bosch or LA. It will help a lot of political poet with bad guys for months now. Now, here's the thing. This is this is pretty complex, but yeah. This could, like, on the one hand, yeah, when Trump loses, he could blame China. But the set, but the other problem is it's also going to lead to war with China, too. So it's just, it's just, there's no winning move here except for the globalists. Globalists win no matter what, and Trump loses no matter what. And then I pay the price either way, and it's, like, pissing me off. China's on a massive disinformation campaign because, oh, this is from May 20th, though. The reality coming from it is that Trump quietly asked the China to help him win real estate, promoting the notion that China wants Biden to win, plus say that China might turn such a da 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 Establish, except you China based on a white interest, a frequent liar. So here, here's something more recent. Drake, 20 million, million dollar throats, printed by foreign countries and others. It will be a scandal of our times. Yeah. All right, so I'm starting to actually... 
Those are all trying. Expect Trump to surrogate the last chance that they want to have a Trump come true. Now, this I will believe. Trump will probably try this, but the problem is he's still like this is why you have to have empathy right and this is why you can't just go i have my free speech i'll just call whatever i want i want to spam the n-word all day i want to call the giant virus giant virus even though it's pissing everybody off that cares about racism this is fucking why you get what you deserve because you're being fucking retarded all right you know in fact even the groivers the true america firsters right you know, they're making the actually, funny enough, they're making the exact same mistake that boomer conservatives do is, I got my principles. All right. I don't actually have principles. All right. Well, technically I do, but I don't call it principles. All right. I just have like a very solid framework. Everything else is subjugated to that. Right. God first. So that's, I guess, my one principle. Right. Carry out God's will, which is the same thing, right? And then everything is subjugated to that, and it's based on reality and practicality, right? That's what I do, right? Conservatives have a really big problem with that, all right? They're not practical. They're always like this fucking, like, fanatical, idealistic, um, principle, ma, pr fucking principle shit. It's so annoying, right? Ma, free market principles. Ma, fucking constitution principles. Yeah, well, your fucking principles, well, where has it gotten us? Where has it gotten you, right, for those of you who happen to be conservative? Yeah, right? Getting fucked in the ass by everybody else, right? And this is fucking why. And, and, and it's just aggravating. It's just fucking aggravating. Uh, let's see. But yes, um, I, um, I don't know. I mean, how much is Trump really going to blame China for this? I mean, he he's very well aware that what... He's definitely well aware of what's who's really the problem. He knows it's not just China. The problem is he just can't come out and say it. So, I don't know. We'll just have to see. Trump, too, initially supports his complaints. I mean, that's especially why he has his new uh, campaign manager. So, hopefully, this Bill Stepien guy isn't fucking retarded. So, uh, he, hopefully, he's like, hey, I know I know we're, we have a butt plug up our ass about China, but that's actually not what's pissing everybody off so much. So, we need to shift towards, you know, white people being um, destroyed and like Black Lives Matter going on a terroristic rampage, right? That's what Trump needs to be doing. And of course, the car, the lockdown and reporting hoaxes, so. Uh, Trump is so okay. Trump can still get a little Hillary Clinton, true victor, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, talk to uh, those friends that are former soft day Trump and turn them back on the air. I claim that I never thought I saw so to help Biden might make a masterly chess move. Uh, anyone who died Trump's claim would risk looking like they were back in China while Silent Hammer about the Russia inquiry. So it's like Garrett's brand and his team ratchet up their finger point in China. So yeah, so this is actually true too. So. Uh, see, the problem is the, uh, the Republicans also spent a lot of time saying that the Russia hoax was a Russia hoax, which it was. What's going to happen when it's proven that China helping the Democrats win it could be also be proven a hoax. So I mean so I mean it's a really stupid angle. Alright? Whoever is advising Trump is obviously retarded, right? So hopefully again Trump's new campaign manager will actually not be retarded and Trump can stop doing dumb shit like this. And on top of that you're also giving the globalists more fucking firepower to work with. So uh, yeah. Anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button uh, from wherever you're watching this from, or my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel. I also forgot to record my two by twos, so I guess I won't have to do that for long now that the things excel. Actually, what is the uh, supply? Uh, get info. My supply of 2x2 two two is now 10.7 million. So it's basically at the point where 404 coins started. Damn. It should go so fucking fast. Anyway, that's our thumbnail. So anyway, I'm done for the week. Uh, I got more coding to do. I got I got to start running my um, story. I also have to start commissioning my logo. So that's going to require uh, lots of research. Lots of fun research, actually. Uh, so... Um, yeah so anyway i'll see you next week unless something major happens from what i can tell there's literally nothing uh the jmc coin swap hopefully we'll have more news on it next tuesday it depends on whenever niche gets back to me uh he's got a lot of shit to deal with right now 
And uh, yeah, all right. Well, these people are very happy about the anti-mask law from that Georgia's governor Brian Kemp has passed. Uh, you know, he's got really good word trickery. So yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah. So anyway, I'm in a very agitated state. I need a demauled, right? You know, as Forsen would say. And then uh, yeah, I'll see you all uh, next Tuesday. But yeah, so far Trump is fighting for his life. He is doing the right thing. I just hope he's got another. Uh, I don't know. I mean, he just doesn't have. He doesn't have a lot of time. But we'll see. One day at a time. Judson Chan, JFC Coin, 404 Coin, and uh, yeah, just be careful of the anti-China war with China rhetoric, and uh, it's just pissing me off so fucking much.